ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another horror let's play on this here channel. We do love us good old horror game over here. Today we will start playing through Alan Wake. Remastered. The original game released in 2010 on Xbox 2012 on the PC, which was the version that I played nine years ago. Time flies indeed. The older you get, it seems like the older you get, the faster time moves on. You wake up in the morning, you're dead. So, why don't we just jump right in? Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. My name is Alan Wake. And I'm woke. <gasps> I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. Sorry. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Started Following with a, a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse. For some urgent reason, I couldn't remember. I've been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. Uh-oh. Murder. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Suddenly, his body was gone. Episode 1. I was in shock and crash. I could hardly stand my feet. Look up to the... Wait, what? No! Stop it. Look up to the light. How do you walk again? <laughs> Let me fix something really quick. FOV, let's go maximum. Oh, much better. Low FOV is when you play in front of a TV screen. I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. You're not sitting right in front of it. If you sit right in front of it, like a PC monitor, you want to have a lower FOV. I the knew there was going to be something here. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. Collectible Ternos picked up. Oh, one of a hundred. Oh, we're going to have a hundred coffees. I'm just kidding. We're probably going to have half of them or something. Alan Wake. It's a me. <clears throat> Wait, you what? You even recognize me, do you, Ryder? You think you're God? You think you can just make up stuff? Play with people's lives and kill them when you Oh, you yes. oh, the oh help! Run! Can't you run? This story now, and I'll make you suffer. You're a joke. There would be a single readable sentence in your books if it wasn't for your editor. You'll never publish another one of your shitty stories. Because I'm gonna kill you. It's 
Not like your stories are any good. Not like they have any. Okay, bye. Not interested. Okay, let me fix one more thing. Subtitles, right? You want to do subtitles, don't you? Font size enormous. Let's see if this is okay. That's all you're good for. Just look at me. Excuse me, just a second. The QR code. Kidding. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, excuse you. Excuse your mom. She's responsible for everything. Oh, that's. I hope I don't have to do this a lot. Press the space to. Ah! Oh! Press space to. Ah! Oh! <laughs> it's like we're on ice. You missed your deadline! You can dodge enemy attacks, press a shift. Whoops. You can't stop me. Try again. Good work. I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I'd been working on. So confusing that he's not in the center. Can I move him to the left side? Sweet Lord. I'm hurrying. Oh my god, I can't even hear him talk. It's so... Audio... Okay, effects volume a little bit quieter, please. Sir, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> a little bit quieter, just a little bit. The screaming... It started with a kid. Inside now. Okay, I'm going. Wait, I need to find another thermos. Okay, let's go in before he dies. Oh no! I didn't close the door, it wasn't me. Stop! No! Damn it, die! No! 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 <gasps> It wasn't me, it closed on its own. I was trapped. Must have been no way out. Your fault. Damn. It 
started with a kiss that my book conspiracy of faith the cabin was a death trap I had to get out wait can we switch to the left side this is so confusing graphics controls <coughs> direct aiming disabled why is it disabled? We're gonna enable it. Graphics, audio, font size, background opacity, the video commentary. So this house, we designed it. Um, uh, we are according to my little house in the mountains. I have a similar house uh, where I was with the Betty and the kids in the summer. <laughs> we had a fantastic, you know, we don't wanna hear that. I'm the poet. I can't get out of here. Oh, there we go. Follow the light. I can't look around with him. You are hurt. You should go into the light. You are only safe there. Oh, that's the light. Go into the light. If I remember correctly, the game saves when we're in the light. I have something important to tell right? you. It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. <laughs> Follow my light. I can't look around. This is infuriating. What is? Maybe it was um, controls direct aiming disabled. It dis oh, this now we can look around. This way, there's no time. Wait, so if we disable direct aiming, you must we can aim now. directly. It's like the opposite. The hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. I don't have the revolver, the though. Toward him and burn the darkness away. There's just ammo here? Burn the darkness away. Are you kidding me? Am I the you what? Did. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Who is talking to me? Pick up the revolver. Now you'll die. Can I just have a sexy a dream? A terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Oh my God. Epic achievements. Oh, look, we can switch sides. Oh, now we're on the left. Now we're a leftist to not the job. And now we're a rightist to not the job. Can we be in the center? Oh, so you just boost them once with the light until the shield is removed or the darkness. And then we blast them away. We blast them to smithereens. 
Why can't we go back here? Is there going to be something? I need some coffee. Wait, there was a coffee. I won. Where's my plush animal? My plushie. Dude, I want to turn off those. I dodged. There you go, sir. Consider your your face blasted apart. We've blasted him to smithereens. Batteries, flare gun, flare gun, use one to switch weapons, so three is the flare gun, it's like a very intense blast of light up your bazonka donk, bazonka donk, bazonka zonka ronk, oh, Is that all the same guy? Oh, I need to reload. Oi, 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 oi. Why do I always need to reload? Here we go. I tap I tapped R by the way. No backseat gaming, please, even if you're in the future, it's not allowed. I don't wanna hear it. I did everything perfectly. And if something goes wrong, it's your fault as usual. Everyone knows that. It's common knowledge. We learned this. Oh shit, that's the wrong button. How many bullets do I have? You're Eight? Dead. Eight times six or what? Excuse me, sir. Please don't chop me. I still need my body intact. I'm completely out of ammo. Oh, that's not good. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Excuse me. Please, no murder. I'm innocent. I only wrote the book. And somehow now I am in the book. So they spawn endlessly, is that it? I can keep this up forever. Run! Run, Billy! Wait, what is that? Nothing we need. Coming. Oh, sh a whirlwind of furniture and car, car, car parts. <laughs> go, 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 go. Race. 
Praise be to the Lord! Now the furniture wants to get in. Just another nightmare. Everything's oh. fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Sup, snuggle bones. Welcome to Bright Falls. Fresh seafood, fish and shrimp. Triple D's. What is it, the diner? Uh. Twain's, I love Twain's. <laughs> Let's explore the ferry. Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. A city boy. Excuse me, sir. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife, if you don't mind me saying. I I'm Pat Main, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host... It looks a little bit like Woody Allen. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Main, I'm on vacation. In fact... I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Just Fair enough. two of us. You can trust me to be this good. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Are you done with the pictures, honey? Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Yeah. Hey, bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got here. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry. We're fine. Great. Great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling... We got in. my other okay, juices Al. flowing. I'll call back later <laughs> to make sure you're doing okay. And you... My ball is okay? sack. Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. Uh, which one was our car? Not the... This one, right? Or that one? Here we go. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stucky. He's waiting for us. Stucky? Let's hope he's not stuck. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. <laughs> 
your snuggle beans. Thank you for coming here with me. I love you too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. I came here with you, and then later, in the bedroom, I'm gonna come again! I've forgotten there were still <laughs> places like this. Shh, towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Odier Diner! Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake, Alan, Wake! <clears throat> oh, God! I am I'm your famous. biggest fan! I know people say that all the time, but I really am! I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose. The animations aren't that good, Mr. Stuckey. honestly. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. The graphics are the quite okay. I got the cut out from the bookstore when they took it out of the Looking window. pretty. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, the sudden okay. stop. Good for you. Uh, right. So much for a quiet vacation. Try There's the a cardboard to me. Don't blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer human. Do me Nothing a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut number six in the jukebox. I do it Biden? myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad I have no clue what he's saying. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Are you serious? Must be Mr. Biden. Coconut again? You there you go, sir. Me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ha! It does that. Get stuck. Yeah. You need to give it a good solid whack. Okay. Give it a whack. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yes. This is it. I've died and gone to hell. Coffee. Wait, what is she doing? <laughs> Are you cray cray? Hello? Go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I think I would like to have a coffee first before I go into the dark and some weird stuff happens with the light. Can I get a coffee, madam? Missy? Honey? Shnuggy? Shnuggy bunny? Okay, that's creepy. She just looks at us and we can't talk to her. I wanted to find Stucky to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. It's nothing. It's a light that has a little bit of a of a flickering going on. Let me go straight to the women's toilet. Cause that's not weird. Mr. Stucky, excuse me, excuse me. Hello. Did your schlonger get Stucky? stuck in the door again? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This really ought to be fixed, and then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. What is she holding in her hand? Is that... Oh, it's a lantern. <clears throat> Even that sounds better than you singing. Are you all right? Splendid, splendid. Damn, aren't you? 
swells up like a balloon if I lift anything heavier than a spoon. Yeah, splendid, splendid. It's been a long time gone. The Andersons, they're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They get <clears> off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Okay. Well, that's uh, really good to know. Thank you very much for this essential information. Excuse me, madam. Can I have a coffee? I'll be heading back to work as soon as Dr. I need Hartman some. Uh, I need some rose. milk in my oh, coffee, please. Do you have any natural milk? <laughs> oh no. Okay. Natural. Oh, Mr. Wade. This. It is made fresh. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! We got different keys from someone that else. The diner was a real nut house. <laughs> we got the keys from the weird Can lady. Can this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Batman here on PBFF. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. Oh, that's the house. It gets pretty dark out here, but they'll light your way. It's a little island. Diver's Isle. Wow. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. A phobia of darkness. I can't switch sides anymore. I can't go to the left side with him anymore for some reason. Bird leg cabin. Why is it called bird leg? Why is she carrying? Oh, she must be a feminist, right? We can give her all our baggages and we have to carry nothing. That makes up for the last thousand of years of oppression of the man. Carrying heavy stuff when everybody knows men and women are exactly the same. Biology is a myth. Let's see. Let's have a little look around this island over here. Beautiful. So this has to be the generator room or something, right? And it's a different room. So we don't get annoyed by the noise. Generator mate. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. What? Ah. Okay, generator is on. The lights are on. Good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay, I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. Have fun. It was a beautiful place. 
I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. But... We couldn't. Alice had told me about <clears throat> Calden Lake Lodge. The old building used to be a hotel. But these days, it was no longer open to the public. Cauldron Lake Lodge. Why is it called Cauldron Lake? Is it a reference to witches? To a witch's cauldron? Or maybe the shape seen from above? Hmm. I like this little house. I was thinking if I like one couple of millions... <laughs> I think I would buy myself a house somewhere away from civilization. Up in the mountains. With like no phone connection. A landline maybe. Maybe just internet or something, you know. Somewhere away from all that technics, technicalities. But still have like maybe internet. Or maybe buy a small house with nothing, not even not even power. You just you have to turn on, you have to use candle. Alice, or like honey, these sort of lamps here, and then you just a go there. Box to... filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on a shelf. I'd never heard of him before. And then you could like really calm down there, calm down from all the. All the modern stuff that can be very exhausting with time. Should we go outside or up first? Let's go outside first. Wait, did the door close behind me? Ah. Started with the a kiss. The door had played a trick on me. Alice wouldn't have come out in the dark. The deer fest guests have already started to arrive. The deer fest. Artist, no less. We'll see if we can rope him into an interview later on. Now let's uh, go to the phones. Caller, you're on KBFFM. Hi, Pat. It's Rose. Why, hello, Rose. What's on your mind? I know who that famous artist was. It was Alan Wake, wasn't it? Uh. He's my favorite writer. Well, Rose, I. I just saw him at the diner. Oh, I am so excited he's here. It is me, Alan Wake. Everybody loves me. The water was black. I couldn't help but imagine all sorts of horrors lurking in the depths below. All sorts of horrors? I guess as an author, you gotta have a vivid imagination. Honey. Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. Oh, I hope the surprise is you without clothes. And then I'll show you my surprise. It's in my pants. Surprise. Ah, Alice. What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past. Damn it, Alice. You, everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. He's screaming that. at That's her. Not what the fuck? Alan? Do you see that? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Why are you so rude to her? I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. I don't need to scream to her. At her. Damn it. Alice? gone dark. All
all the lights were out. I'm coming. I can run. I can't run Alice, straight because I'm, I'm an idiot. It's all right. I'm coming. Oh shit! What the? What the hell? I'm here. Alice? Alice? Oh, shit. Oh, no. In the water? Jump in. How I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. It started with a crash. <clears throat> Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it. And I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover, either. Well, shit. What happened to her? Did she fly out of the window or something? <sighs> no, the window's intact. Let's touch the those gas cables. station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. <gasps> It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. All right. <clears throat> it doesn't look like such a long hike. A long hike? That's like... Okay, if you go through the water, maybe 20 minutes. If you don't... Damn. Okay, we can't go straight down, so that's going to be a longer hike, huh? Hello? What the? Hello? Someone there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Oh no. An axe murderer. Wake attacked by a shadowy murderer. Departure. By Alan Wake. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us. But the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare. But I was awake. Okay, he's gonna come at me any second now. And the one, and the two, and the one, two, three, four. Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident. We have to that this is such a long hike actually it's the lights up ahead were a good sign maybe i wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone 
How did he know this from being around the corner in the first place? I mean, I think I would have just climbed straight down to the river. The current's not too strong, you know, get your shoes wet a little bit. It's not the end of the world. At least you're back in civilization. Here? Just following a road into some abandoned lumber camp? Maybe there's... I mean, in, in the real world, right? We're not expecting axe murderers and monsters, but there could be bears. Other dangerous animals. Maybe you just, you know, you fall, you impale yourself, you can't move, you bleed out. It can happen really fast. Anybody I mean, there? there's people who've Please. died to turkey. I'm not even joking. They got, like, clawed at the leg. And then they just lost so much blood, they died. Before they could make it back to civilization or to safety. Hey. I mean, they also weren't very smart. Hey, you! Fail! There's been an accident. You need to dress your wounds so I you can help. bleed out. Listen, I need two premium cabins for rent in. Fightful. Oh hell, Carl Stucky! Pleased to meet you. Non-reservation reservation deposit required. Fair and square. Fair and square. Have you murdered? He is a murderer, Mr. Stucky. Wake fights a taken with light. The taken stood <clears throat> before me. It was impossible to focus on it, as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater, like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, <gasps> willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. Okay, that's too high. Excuse me, sir. Look for a tartness. I need a coffee. Excuse me, sir. I need a little coffee here. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. And we're leaving. We are. I dodged. I had to figure a way out of this. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. Here's Jackie. Or Johnny? It's Johnny. It's Johnny. What do we pick up? Batteries. What else? What else? Quick. During your batteries for our sex toys. It's the latest. The black mamba. Okay, got batteries. I got um ammo I don't have a revolver I wasn't about to open the door as long as I was help. liable to catch an axe with my forehead oh there's the phone oh that's gonna work yes bright fall sheriff station homie hello hello what a coinky dink There's nobody driving it. Oh, shit. Get out. 
get up. Spaghetti-o! Oh! I don't want to waste the batteries. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. There we go. With the concussion. I'd never fired a gun outside a shooting range. And now I just killed someone. Or something. There were no bodies. They just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. Gonna go out? Don't you dare. You little rascal. The arrow points to the left. Let's follow the arrow. Let's see. Maybe we'll find something that helps us. Oh, wow. This is a great little corner. Maybe we need to do this first. There, I fixed it. <laughs> oh, now we can go that way. Okay. First, we'll follow the arrow. We'll check this. Maybe it points over hither. There we go. There's another arrow. Eerie hand-painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. Flare gun, some ammo. Are those like uh, one time use flare guns? Hot diggity dog. The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. And we, we do have to get into the next episode. Goodbye. <laughs>